page 483, section 7.6. Let's look at number 8. Number 8, square root of x plus 1 is equal to 7. For this section, okay, we want to have square root on one side, the number on the other side. So step one, you're going to square both sides of the equation. So here on the left hand side, the square root and the square that cancels out. All you need to do is just write down the number inside. It doesn't matter how many numbers, okay, just bring everything down. So no more square roots, okay, equal to 49. After that, all you need to do is just solve for x. So minus 1, minus 1. So my x is equal to 48. Now let's look at number 10. Number 10, we have square root of 7x minus 3 is equal to 6. Next. Again, we're going to square both sides. Step 2, square both sides of the equation. So the square root and the square that cancels out. No more square root, okay? Just write down the number inside. Why? Doesn't matter how many inside, how many number inside, okay? So it will be 7x minus 3 is equal to 36. After that, I solve for x. So let's get rid of the negative 3 plus 3 plus 3. So 7x is equal to 39. Then after that, we want x by itself. So divide everything by 7. So x is equal to 39 over 7. Now, let's look at number 12. Number 12, here we have square root of 5k minus 3 plus 2 is equal to 0. So here, make sure square root on one side, the number on the other side. So here, I go move the 2 to the other side. So this becomes square root of 5k minus 3 is equal to negative 2. Before we do anything, let's check out this. So, if you have square root of 4 is equal to positive 2. You have square root of 25 is equal to a positive 5. Your square root of 81 is equal to positive 9. So from here you can see all the square roots equal to a, a positive number. Okay, so all the square root, they are equal to a positive number. So here, you see, your square roots are equal to negative 2. So square root cannot equal to negative 2. So this will be no solution. Now let's look at number 16. Number 16, we have 9 minus square root of 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So here, we go move the 9 to the other side of the equation. So here we have negative square root of 4x plus 1 is equal to negative 9. This, okay, do not write down no solution, okay, because we want to get rid of that negative sign in front of the square root. So divide everything by negative 1. So square root of 4x plus 1 is equal to positive 9. So you see, that equal to a positive number now. Then after that, we're going to square both sides of the equation. Square both sides. So on the left-hand side, square root and the square cancels out. So we just write down whatever the number inside. So it'll be 4x plus 1 is equal to 81. 9 squared gives you 81. After that, let's solve for x. So let's get rid of the 1. So minus 1, minus 1. So 4x is equal to 80. Divide everything by 4. So x is equal to 20. Now, let's look at number 22. Number 22, we have 5 square roots of 4x plus 1 equal to 3 square roots of 10 x plus 25. So here we have square root, okay, one number on each side, so that's why we want it. So we're going to do square on both sides of the equation. So here you see, okay, the 5, okay, the 5 over here. The 5 over here, this number right here, this number is outside the square roots, okay, 
So we need to double. So five square give you 25. The number of wives inside the square, which is right down, so before x plus one equal to the three is outside the square root, so three must double, okay? So three square give you a nine. Then whatever's inside the square root is write down the number. Then after that, you're gonna take the every time you have number outside the the parenthesis, okay? Every time you have number outside the parenthesis, you must take that number, multiply into the parenthesis. So here we have 100 x plus 25 is equal to 90 x plus 225. The next, move x to one side, move the number to the other side. I want to get rid of the 90 on the right hand side, so minus 90 x, minus the 90 x. So here I have 10 x plus 25 is equal to 225. The next, let's get rid of the 25. So minus 25, minus 25. So 10x is equal to 200. Then after that, let's get rid of the 10. So divide everything by 10. So x is equal to 20. Now, let's look at number 24. Number 24, here we have x is equal to square root of x squared minus 3x plus 18. So step one, square both sides of the equation. So square here, square at the right. So on the left hand side, x squared, that is x squared equal to on the right hand side, just write down whatever the numbers inside the square roots, okay? So 18 over here. After that, if you have anything, okay, any number on the equation, either side of the equation, you have exactly the same number. So here we have x squared, x squared, they're exactly the same number. So it just cancels out. Okay, that's the easiest way. Another way, the long way to do is like this. You minus x squared, you minus x squared, you see? That becomes what? Zero. So it still cancels out both x squared. So zero is equal to negative 3x plus 18. After that, let's get rid of the three, negative 3x, three so plus 3x both sides of the equation. So 3x is equal to 18. We want x, so divided by 3. So x is equal to 6. Now, let's look at number 26. Number 26. Number 26 here, we have x is equal to square root of x squared minus 4x minus 8. So do the same thing. Step one, go and square both sides. So square left and right, square both sides. Left hand side becomes x squared. Right hand side, no more square root. Just write down the number inside. Doesn't matter how many number. After that, it's the same. Okay, left hand side of the equation, the right hand side of the equation you have exactly the same number. So you cancel those out. So no more x squared. So here we have zero is equal to negative four x minus eight. Then after that, let's get rid of the negative 4. So plus 4x plus 4x. So 4x is equal to negative 8. Then divide everything by 4. So x is equal to negative 2. So here I found out my x equal to negative 2. Before you, before you do anything, okay, let's go back to, before you stop, let's go back to the original equation. My original equation is what? x is equal to square root of x squared minus 4x minus 8. Now, after I solve, after I solve, so I found out my x equal to negative 2, right? So here, if my x equal to negative 2, will be like what? Negative 2 is equal to square root of x squared minus 4x minus 8. Remember from the previous, previous question, question number 12, square root cannot equal to a, a negative number. So here my square equal to negative two. So here you can just write down no solution.